Good afternoon. Hugh Johns reporting from the Baseball Grand Derby. On the game, every Derby fan has eagerly anticipated since they won the second division. The match with Spurs and Dave's Day. Dave Mackay's steadying influence was a vital factor in Derby's promotion run last season and again now on their climb to the top rungs of the first division ladder. Today he faces his old Spurs pals as resolutely as he once led them. Though he's twice broken his left leg, there's still power in his battle-scarred limbs. He showed that when blasting a goal against West Bromwich Albion recently. At 34, Dave Mackay should be on the way out. Instead, this rugged Scottish international seems indestructible. But Derby are not a one-man team. Robson and McFarland are, for instance, two of the finest young defenders in the country. And little Willie Carlin has few equals as a midfield worker. Real skill and determination bristles in every position in that team lineup. Derby are unbeaten in 11 games, and Spurs have just won four away games on the trot, so there's plenty at stake today. Spurs are without their injured striker Martin Chivers, but the remainder of their star names figure on manager Bill Nicholson's team sheet. Mike England, the best centre-half in Britain. Alan Mullery, Mexico bound for certain with England. Alan Gilzean, re-established in Scotland's World Cup lineup, and of course, Jimmy Greaves, Mr. Goals himself. In just over a dozen seasons, this controversial little sharpshooter has totaled 469 goals with Chelsea, AC Milan, Spurs and England. He's never played at Derby before, so he'll be looking for another first to add to his long list. Our referee this afternoon, Mr. Leo Callahan of Merthyr, a very famous international referee. When he blows that whistle, there he goes. It's Derby kicking off. White shirts, black shorts, attacking the goal on the left. And because of the colour clash this afternoon, Spurs wearing very unfamiliar pale yellow shirts. Perhaps best identified with the fact that they're wearing white shorts. And immediately Derby quickly into the attack. Here's McGovern. Morgan, Dave Mackay. Gilzean fighting for this. First foul of the game. Against Alan Gilzean, the free kick to Derby. Dave Mackay waving everybody forward. Behind him, there is only one player. That's goalkeeper Les Green. Mackay going right. Gilzean for Spurs. Reeves across. Hinton, crossfield ball, a good one for McGovern. Hector going strongly in front of him. It's Hector now. Kevin Hector for Willie Carlin. Carlin now. Hector running beautifully, here's O'Hare, Hector looked offside, Durban, hit Beal, appeal to handball. Referee Leo Callahan pointing for a corner, or pointing to the linesman, he's given the penalty. Oh no, no, call it all the way back, I was right first time, Hector was in fact offside. Certainly looked far too close to that line, to Pat Jennings' line to be in an onside position. But with a packed house here at Derby, it's often, well, it's going to be difficult to hear referee Callahan's whistle. McFarland, a real powerful one. Beal banging it forward, aiming for Gilzean. Alan Mullery coming across, but Mike England there, and Mullery will take the throw in. Pierce inside for Greaves. Derby, Derby marking and tackling very, very sharp. Players have little time to set themselves. There's a foul against Mike England on O'Hare. Number five trotting away Mike England. Number nine trotting after him, John O'Hare. Derby striker. And the number six there, of course, Dave Mackay. England punching that one downfield. Pierce for Pratt. They're trying to work this ball for Beale. That should be Durbin's. Oh, that was a mistake. 
all the way back by Robson and Les Green getting a close look at the wall Hector only gifting that to Gilzean back for Knowles Pratt, good bit of running here by Greaves. Greaves in and behind Mackay. Good anticipation by Green. Jimmy Greaves ducking in behind his old Spurs teammate, setting up a very, very tense situation. Robson, John Robson. The derby. Spurs funneling back away from him. O'Hare. Durban. Touched handball there. Durbin going in very strongly. Now McGovern. Robson in, punching it forward. In trouble. Collins for Durbin. Here's O'Hare. Little touch here. Must be a chance for Hector. Number eight, Willie Carlin. Diving into a great scoring position there and missing it. What a bird of beautifully worked opening for Carlin. And certainly a tremendous let off for goalkeeper Pat Jennings. Five minutes gone, no score. Will Zine in trouble. Pratt hooking it forward. McGovern for Hinton. Well robbed by Morgan. Here's Gilzean. Pratt for Gilzean again. Greaves taking it on. Morgan. Mackay cutting it out. Aiming for O'Hare and O'Hare. Really getting into the back. Referee Callahan says play on. That looked like one in the back. O'Hare for Durbin. Now Hinton. Hinton faced by Beale. Giving him a run. And the most... Hinton could have hoped for there was a corner off Beale. Beale very wisely didn't play the ball. Little spit on Pat Jennings' hands, the biggest hands in football. Robson getting it inside. This is Durbin. Hinton losing it. McGovern, Hinton. Simple situation for Collins to tidy up. Farlin judging that one well. Durbin. McGovern trying to refine Durbin. Carlin. Carlin for Derby. Robson. Durbin. McGovern. And Mallory cutting it out. John Pratt decided it was time Jennings had another touch of the ball. The wind swirling and these high balls going to give centre halves a bit of trouble. Cyril Knowles. Morgan getting for Greaves. Mallory. Greaves again. Time to turn. Gilzean. And Mallory. Well worked opening then between Gilzean, Mullery and Greaves. Mullery the fly final shot. Left footed wide. Had to take it very, very smoothly and swiftly. Now Dave Mackay takes most of the free kicks, now goal kicks. Knowles rolling it. Tackled by Carlin on Pratt. The free kick quickly taken. Knowles aiming for Gilzean. Dragging Mackay over there with him. Oh, a neat bit of football by Gilzean. Immediately spur spurred down, I was going to say. Smeared down by his old mate Dave Mackay. Gilzean quite unworried by that tackle from behind, apparently. But the free kick. The Spurs 
Jimmy Greaves is over there, so Cyril Knowles. This is Greaves now pointing to Webster. Saying he's not 10 yards from the ball. Ooh, and Greaves... Greaves kicked, really getting Derby in trouble then. Green's height was against him on that ball. Here's Greaves again. Keeping it very tight. O'Hare to Carlin. Carlin, the man who can really spark this Derby side. Webster. And finally, Roger Morgan way over there. This is Gilzine. It was Roger Morgan who banged that ball into touch for a throw in. O'Hare. And getting his shirt almost ripped off by England. This fellow O'Hare, one of the most difficult players for a centre half to play against. Shields the ball in the continental European style of football. Doesn't allow centre halves to get a, a really good look at it. Willie Carlin, number eight, with his free kick. McFarlane is up there. Mullery away with the head. Here's in trouble, Robson. And... Well, I can't quite see who was offside then. Referee Callahan still knows behind him. However... Phil Beale now for Spurs. Hinton chasing back to take him. And does... Number 11, Alan Hinton. Seen time with Wolverhampton and Nottingham Forest before coming to Derby. Collins, Peter Collins. Gilzean getting just a touch. It's a good try. bit of interpassing, that's a loose pass though. England over there, O'Hare trying to tackle. Field now. Kills in challenging with Mackay and McFarlane hooking it forward. Hinton inside for Derby to O'Hare. against Mullery. So far, the more serious threat of pressure, I think, has come from Tottenham Hotspur. Pierce losing that one in the air. Hinton crosses a good ball, this boy. Willie Carlin going in with Cyril Nose, earning himself a corner off the big fella. Little tiny Willie Collin trotting away, the left of the picture. Five, four and a half, every inch of it work. Hinton, number 11, going across, looking as though he's going to take this corner, although Ron Webster's moving over there as well. Number 11 is Hinton. Greaves, the Spurs defender. Number eight. Hinton with the corner. Knowles away. This is Webster for Hinton. Crowd really jammed in here at the baseball ground. The 200,000 pound stand in which our cameras are situated. Not a seat empty, of course. Farling getting it forward. Beal. Being chased by Hector. But it's a Spurs ball. Roger Morgan. Spurs. Pierce. Hinton. Back for Webster. Derby not commanding the midfield area yet as they have done so many times in their 
first division games this season. Greaves losing it to Hinton. Little chop for O'Hare. Durban robbing Mullery. O'Hare just failing to sneak that one past England. Robson building it forward. England away. That's Collins' ball. Hinton outside on the right. Hector under this with Collins. Collins wins it. Dave Mackay. McGovern. And Hector going up with Jennings. Fine anticipation by the Spurs and Ireland goalkeeper. Jimmy Greaves breaking out for Spurs now. Gills in on the left. Coming in here is Beal. Now Morgan. Oh, Roger Morgan wasn't so very far away with that one. It looked a, a simple sort of a shot. But it wasn't so very far wide of the post. O'Hare trying to bring this ball down. Ooh, and England into him like a rocket there. Cyril Knowles for Spurs. Greaves. Greaves had two men to try and beat then. McFarlane back for Webster. Alan Durbin with Alan Mullery. English international, the Welsh international. Oh, what a gift from England to Durbin! Yes, there it is! A terrible mistake! scoring his second goal of the season for Derby. An absolute gift from his Welsh international skipper, of all people, Mike England. And Alan Durbin, the man who captained Wales in England's absence in the international competition last, uh, last May. Oh dear, what a mistake. And Derby. Derby fans really baying for more now. McGovern. Beal getting it out. O'Hare. Colin for Webster. Referee Callahan has given the foul against Jimmy Pierce, but for a moment as though he's going to let play go on, play the advantage. Dave Mackay must be feeling a very happy man at this moment. Mullery for Greaves. Ooh. Greaves delaying it. Suddenly a lot of nervous tension in the Spurs side. Spurs ball, a fair head of Phil Beale down there, number two, but it's number ten, John Pratt, Greaves, Beale, charged down by McGovern, give these Derby players six inches of room, and they're in like a flash, it is this dedicated running and chasing that has swept them so dramatically from the foot of the second division at this time last year, right up into the heights of the first division. Robson. England winning it. Kai there in case anything went wrong. Robson. Webster. Webster, good ball for O'Hare. O'Hare coming in for some pretty heavy treatment from Mike England. There's Knowles. Greaves. Carlin, a good tackle by Greaves. Pierce overrunning it. Carlin, back for McGovern. 
Good through ball for McGovern. He's onside. Got England there and Knowles there. Now Hinton. McGovern again. Not a bad try. Nice cool bit of football by McGovern. Little Willie Carlin. Little encouragement for his forwards. Bill Zine finding Greaves. McGovern, only a youngster, this lad. 19 years old, but he gets through a lot of graft in midfield for Derby. Not a very elegant pass, though, in actual fact, on that occasion. Farland, only for Mullery, aiming for Greaves. Dragging Webster over there with him, number two. Mackay in trouble. Webster now. Pratt cutting that out. John McGovern will throw in for Derby. Oh, here in England. But well run by Hector. And Beale off the line. That looks like a penalty, or was it in? He's given the goal. Over the line, 2 0 Hector the scorer. Kevin Hector, number 10. 2-0, his fourth goal of the season. The hesitation on my part then was the linesman's flag had gone up. Looked very much as though he was signalling that Beale had handled that ball off the line after it hit the post. But indeed, it was over the line first time. So it's 2-0 Derby. And Spurs have twice been forced to pay heavily for defensive mistakes. Mullery, forward for Greaves, this must be one, surely. A oh, fine interception by Dave Mackay. <laughs> Dave Mackay. The one man who has stopped Greaves making it 2-1 then. Pierce in this corner. Pierce again. And another corner. Pierce's kick. England was up there. Mullery. Alan Mullery. Spurs skipper. Well wide with that one. Durban hooking it on, O'Hare for Hector. And England getting a boot to it in time. Here's Mullery. A one-two off the referee. Gilzine. Pratt. Mullery for Beale. Gilzine going in, McFarland there first. Here's Mullery again. Greaves. Oh, a great bit of football, a wonderful save. Well, you couldn't have much better than that from this bloke, Greaves, and a tremendous save from Green. And Derby cutting immediately away again. Hinton. Collins almost getting a touch to that and going in the back of the net. In fact, it's sped away for a corner. Well, action at both ends of the field in the time it takes a ball to be kicked from one end of the field to the other.
Alan Henton, number 11. Played three times for the full England side. Colin! Willie Colin! And those Spurs defenders have every right to look angry and those Derby players have every right to look happy. The tiniest man on the field, Willie Carlin, got right in amongst those tall Spurs defenders to actually head the ball into the net. And Spurs must be feeling pretty sick now, is this little fella, Willie Carlin. Five foot four and a half inches up against a big chap like Mike England, over six foot, and Collins nods the ball into the net. Just about 25 minutes of this half gone. Derby really piling it into this. What is now looking a very groggy Spurs backline. Is Hector for Hinton. Waiting for Robson to move up outside, I think. Robson's making the break now. O'Hare on for Hinton again. And just wide of the far post. Jennings got a touch to that, but referee Callahan waves it away. It's a goal kick. Hinton so desperately close to getting the fourth goal in this. Well, what can only describe it as a ragged Spurs back line now. Each one of them looking nervously over his shoulder as forwards like this chap Hinton power into them. Roy McFarlane again pumping the long one for O'Hare. Good ball for Hector. Hector round Knowles, leading him. Hector O'Hare. Really pulsating stuff from this Derby front line. McFarlane punching it forward again. Roy McFarlane, number five, already tipped for. A trip to Mexico with Sir Ralph Ramsey. Dave Mackay whacking that one away. Roger Morgan with a throw in. Collins, Peter Collins. Pratt, a gift of a pass, in fact, to Webster. Not much time left. Referee Callahan having a good look at his watch. No stoppages in this first half as Gilzine cuts away. Outside him is Pierce. His Pierce going in. Taken off stride by Robson. McFarland in. Gilzine. And Derby fans absolutely roaring to their feet. McFarland, number five, is the man who finally tidied the situation up. Certainly was a looked like a good chance for Pierce as referee Callahan blows the whistle for half time. Well, certainly a first half of tremendous incident. Three goals for Derby. Durban, Hector and little Willie Carlin. And I would think, I would suspect most firmly that there are some more goals to be seen in this second half. Welcome back then as Spurs kick off this second half. Spurs, remember, in the white shorts. It's the quickest way to identify, I think, probably. Derby presumably all ready to set off where they left off just ten minutes ago. First free kick of the second half. Number six, Dave Mackay. Moving across for Webster who has a lot of room in which to work. Number 10 is Hector. Jennings hauling that behind for a corner. And we've got a substitute on for Spurs. In the box, number 12, Tony Want, the fair-haired figure of number 12, Tony Want. And John Pratt, number 10, who didn't have a very happy time in the first half, has not come out for the second half. And it's Hinton, number 11, for Derby with this corner kick. Jennings coming a long way out.
Spurs cutting out now through Pierce. Going a long way on his own. Letting Mackay get the tackle in, though. Mackay the clearance. Collins now for Spurs. Pierce for the substitute, number 12. Here he is, Tony Want. Another fair-haired fellow, Phil Beale. Robson out. Mullery. Chance for Mullery. It's only just wide. Alan Mullery. And I must correct myself on the player who's been substituted. It is, in fact, Cyril Knowles who's not out for the second half. So, in fact, we've got Tony Want, the substitute, on for Cyril Knowles. McFarland. Long one with Hector going through on his own. Number six, Collins got there. It must be Hector. Oh, what a save from Jennings. Fantastic save. But a free kick has been given against Hector, when in fact I would have said that the original free kick should have been for him. Dave Mackay. Leslie Green, formerly with Hartley Pools and Rochdale. Collins a little slow off the mark then. O'Hare. Ooh, and England taking a real swipe at O'Hare. And coming off second best, it's Alan Durban now for Derby. Mullery. Forward for Pierce. A little slow again. Boy number three, John Robson, really bites fast. tight spot here almost got out of it here's Hinton Hinton taking on Knowles and running him <laughs> Mullery for Greaves McFarlane tidying up. Derby pulling five and six men back when they have to, but they've always got plenty of men forward when they need them. Alan Durbin now. For Carlin. Carlin. Has Durbin number four behind in support if he needs him. It's Durbin. Oh, beautiful stuff by Alan Durbin. Charles Navarro here. There it is. John O'Hare. fella John O'Hare be taking a fair bit of stick from Mike England this afternoon but he's rubbed it in now 4-0 for Derby over Tottenham Hotspur Spurs fans all around the ground up on their feet chanting easy easy certainly a tremendous difference from the game the last meeting of these two clubs here at Derby 17 years ago, October 1952, when it was a naught-naught draw. Spurs manager Billy Nicholson played in that game. Now he's sitting on the bench, watching his side, being rubbed unmercifully in the dust. Now Alan Gilzean, Tottenham Hotspur, number nine. He's got a kick-off. For the fifth time in this game, 4-0 down they are. 
Pratt. Pierce. Gilzine going in behind McFarland. Foul called against Gilzine. On McFarland. Dave McKay taking this goal kick must be looking at that Spurs defence and saying, my goodness, what happened since I left there? <laughs> Knowles aiming for Gilzine. Now Mullery, Gilzine, the return pass too early, too poor. And Derby playing a little continental keep ball. Durbin for Webster. Here's Durbin again. Hector turning on it. Carlin outside on his right. Going all the way on his own with Collins. Linesman's given a corner. Referee Callahan adamant pointing to the goal kick. For the first time this season, had four goals scored against them. Last Saturday, they lost at home to Manchester City, three. And they lost their first game of the season against Leeds away, 3-1. And now Derby, who incredibly enough, just about a year ago, were practically bottom of the second division. Taking on Spurs, smashing four goals past them already. Mallory for Pierce. Pierce has these white shirts all pour back for defensive jobs. There's Greaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. White shirted men came back as number eight, Jimmy Greaves. Finally got the header in wide of the net. And the eight white shirted men marshaled by this chap, Dave Mackay, making quite sure that there were no unmarked yellow shirted Spurs men to really get a good look at goal. O'Hare beating England, Hinton outside on his left. Knowles caught in two minds as to which to, to do. O'Hare for Durban, now it's Hinton. Hinton facing Knowles with want in support. O'Hare, Carlin chasing in with Pratt. And Alan Mullery for Spurs. Calling men back to him. Greaves, Gilzine. McGovern it was who robbed him. Here's Carlin. McGovern, Webster, always seems to be a derby man offering himself for the pass. Webster, Carlin, derby fans loving every minute of this. McFarlane across for Robson. Hector for Webster. Derby making their passing look really first class. O'Hare! John O'Hare's shot charged down. Number nine, John O'Hare's shot charged down. The throw in quickly taken. And here's a chance for McGovern. Set bundling by Mike England, no penalty though. Hinton, Pratt, now for Spurs, robbed by McGovern, it's O'Hare, outside on his left is Hinton, hasn't seen him, here's Hector, brought it back beautifully, there it is, that's Alan Durban, Alan Durban, Alan Durban's second goal of the game, Derby's fifth, Derby really making this a Derby Day match for their skipper Dave Mackay to remember against his old club. 
fabulous bit of running by Kevin Hector, the final header by Durban. So superb, so simple. And it is the simplicity of Derby's game which is causing so much havoc. And Alan Durban, after scoring that goal, is trotting off the field. Frank Wignall is the substitute for Derby. And Spurs have sent off. Pratt has gone off, so Spurs are now down to ten men. This is Pierce for Spurs. Want. Back for Phil Beale. Jimmy Greaves. Here's Pierce. Pierce taking it tight. Good cross ball. Jimmy Pierce, number seven. For Spurs, Gilzean trying to get a touch inside, and Dave Mackay, I don't think he in fact needed to do that. Maybe Les Green didn't shout loud enough behind him. On the other hand, it's very difficult to outshout Dave Mackay when he starts bellowing orders. Jimmy Pierce, Alan Mullery going forward for the short one, but Pierce going for the box. Robson out. And number 12, Frank Wignall. Here's Wignall, substituting for Alan Durban. Hinton outside, down the line on the right. Stout tackle by Tony Want and the referee. His attention being drawn by the linesman. He was lifting his foot and has given a free kick. No. up over McFarland. Wignall. McFarland. Paul McGovern. Robson. Aiming for Wignall. Wignall sent down by England. Now Cyril Knowles. For Mullery. Mullery for Pierce. Pierce trying to do too much on his own, had no chance of going through the gap. Here's Willie Carlin now. Wignall to his left, Hector running forward. Wignall. Wignall rolled for McGovern. Wignall. Well, Derby trying the extravagant passes with the confidence of a 5-0 lead, I suppose they're entitled to do so. Gilzean. Pierce goes forward. Long, long way out. Really didn't give Green very much difficulty. Wignall, England. Frank Wignall, number 12 chap that Derby bought from the Wolves back end of last season as insurance on their promotion run but practically a constant substitute all season this season that is McFarland rolling it across for Webster Wicknell going with England First, remember, down to ten men. Gilzean. Greaves outside on the left. Awkward curling ball, but curling it just wide of the top right-hand corner.
time up on my watch now. There's Green. Tremendous throw this fellow's got. O'Hare, Wignall. Time ticking away. If Derby are going to pinch one more goal. Hinton. Hector. Hinton, the chance here now. England getting in the way. Hinton again. And Wignall blatantly obstructed by Knowles, but nothing happened. Greaves for Spurs. Well into injury time. And I feel that Spurs, after this five-goal humiliation, will be quite grateful to hear that final whistle. Alan Mullery. Robbed by McFarlane. Quick break now down the left. Could produce something. Derby attacking with five men on three defenders. Carlin. Wignall going through the middle. And Jennings just getting a touch. Oh, Willie Carlin. Fractionally short of either scoring a goal himself or setting one up for Frank Wignall. Henton. Well into injury time now. Wignall, and there is the final whistle. Derby supporters rise to pay homage to that chap, Dave Mackay, number six. What a day it's been for Dave Mackay. His old club absolutely hammered out of sight here with five really great goals. Reading them through again, Durban, Hector and Carlin in the first half. O'Hare and Durban in the second half. A really exciting game. This is Hugh John saying goodbye, but for his views on this game, let's now go over to Billy Wright. <laughs>